What's good YouTube, Akil here, back with another video. And before we jump into today's video, make sure you guys tune in to the live show tonight, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm on there just for about an hour and I'm gonna be answering any reseller entrepreneur questions that you guys may have. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys tune in later on today. Now today's subject has been something I already covered in the past, but as, as time goes on and as the game continues to change, the scams continue to change as well. So earlier on, a few months ago, I actually made a video, I think this was maybe even last year when I dropped a video um, telling people how to avoid that scam where you would usually get, as soon as you post an item over $100, you would get an email and it would say something along the lines of my wife um, is interested in this item please send us an email we'll pay uh, whatever the amount of money that you're asking for sometimes the the email varies then of course the you know Poshmark started to crack down on a lot of these different scams and the the platform started to change and things were getting better but now I'm starting to see a lot more people um, just transition on to a different scam and now the scam seems to be paying through cash app just paying through other platforms outside of Poshmark and the biggest thing that I just got to tell people about uh, this new scam is that it's happening more and more every day that I'm starting to get a lot of comments a lot of emails about people asking me how to avoid getting scammed um, should they trust this seller just a bunch of different stuff and honestly I usually don't even like to address these type of videos only because I know it's, it's just negativity and if you guys follow the channel for real, you guys know I'm not even about all that but what it really comes down to is the fact that I'm starting to see it for myself but I'm really just trying to help more people just avoid losing out on their money especially during times like right now so I'll just put the screenshot up of some of the stuff that I've just screenshotted over the past like 10 to 12 minutes just scrolling through Poshmark because as you guys know I don't sell as much as I used to but your boy is definitely buying a lot on there first thing this person says they put up a pair of Jordan 1 mids these Jordan 1 mids brand new 200 plus so this person has these shoes on here for $80 so anybody that's interested in shoes would immediately see this get super excited might even want to jump on this cash app only hopefully this can be my first sale on here so you won't miss out everything is authentic the price differs so please ask for my other account and my let go so first things first anytime somebody says you know cash app only the reason why people are specifically saying only pay me through cash app is because there's no like buyer protection seller protection there's none of that so once you send somebody money on cash app you're basically just hoping and praying that the person actually receives the money then they ship out the item and you know everything is in good faith now I'm not gonna say stuff like this doesn't happen you can definitely do certain stuff like this if you trust that person if they have somewhat of like a, a good record but usually 95% of the time when I'm seeing stuff like this on Poshmark it's a scam so anytime someone's saying they're not accepting payments through Poshmark you definitely got to be on the you got you just have to pay more attention now this one in particular this one was hilarious to me because this person literally says I only accept Cash App because people like to scam on this app, which is not cool. Now, this is for a pair of Jordan 1 Blue Obsidians, price point 125 Now, these shoes look brand new. You can still see that the laces and everything is still attached to it. These shoes right now are selling for about 400 plus. Even if they were used, they were still selling for well over 300 bucks. So, anytime you see stuff like this where it's way too good to be true, chances are this is a scam so this is just one example definitely be on the lookout for this here's another one where this person is clearly lying says my Poshmark isn't working I can't see who purchased and they won't go through so if you're interested in buying hit my number they add their cell phone number and then, and then they say a hundred percent authentic now with this particular pair of shoes the price point once again a hundred bucks you know these shoes sell for about maybe three four hundred bucks maybe even more than that I'm just I didn't check the comps I'll put the screenshot of what they're selling for on StockX and other websites but guys trust me anytime you're seeing these price points where things seem way too good to be true it usually is and the thing is why I think people get caught with these scams is because in this particular day and age somebody had asked me during my previous live shows they didn't know I was so into shoes and now that I'm selling shoes they thought that was really dope and when I was younger I was always heavily heavily interested into shoes even when I was like 10 11 years old I remember just being fascinated with different sneakers and just you know just the the overall look I was just always fascinated with really dope shoes because back in the day your boy was rocking payless so the huge thing that differs from now and back then is that back then you know the sneaker game it was more of like a like a subculture it wasn't a huge it wasn't this popularized as it is today 
And if you were into shoes, you can still get some steals here and there. You might even buy some stuff on Nike Talk from people that you don't even necessarily know. But like I said, once again, Nike Talk, for those of you that remember Nike Talk, that was definitely more of like a trusted sneaker community. So a lot of sales was going on back then. But at the same time, you know, it, like I said, it was a subculture. People wasn't spending as much money as they was at the, as they are now. Nowadays, a lot of these kids, they're growing up just like me. They can't necessarily afford to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on shoes. But these kids want good stuff. So when they see these type of things popping up on Poshmark, you got parents looking at this. And parents, of course, might not even know the difference. Or, of course, they're going to message them and say, hey, I, I would, I'm just trying to do something good for my kid and, you know, buy him some shoes. And that's when these scams become more prevalent because people just want to do, people want to do right, people want to save money, but then there's people that's literally poaching on them. And that's the, that's the terrible part of it. It'll be easy for me to say if it if it looks too cheap, if, if it looks too good to be true, you know, it, it probably is because I get comments all the time and I'll put up a few on the screen here for you guys as well, where people have told me they've gotten scammed some for you know 20 30 bucks others say they've gotten scammed for hundreds of dollars so this type of stuff is definitely happening those of you that may have gotten scammed yourself drop that in the comment section so we can keep the conversation going but this video is solely just you know to help people out let people know that you know these scams are real these scams is happening and we just got to try to do our best as a community to just kind of weed out some of these scam sellers. I'm really just trying to just make the platform better, do my part since my platform is growing and just try to help as much people as I can. So with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. And if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you're interested, make sure you tune into the live show later on today, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.